Hello and welcome to Hobby Philic. The great poker chip adventure may be over, but we're still discussing poker chips. Today we're talking about the Pharaohs. These were purchased from Apache Poker Chips for a set of 100 for like 40 bucks. So they're very comparable in price to the Milanos. You're looking a little over $100, about 120 for a set of 300. And these cards are these Monarchs. These are some paper cards that are very similar to bicycle cards. But let's have a look real quick while we play a hand. Everybody, shuffle your decks at home, grab two cards off the top, and let's play a little Texas Hold'em here. Burn card, have a look at the flop here. Interesting, interesting. Somebody's gonna have quad nines. Leave a comment. Tell us what you have in the comments. Oh, snap. That's a very full house, straighty, quaddy <laughs> trips board right there. All right, interesting to see. So these cards are pretty interesting. I'm gonna discuss these more in the money card series. Just the interesting colorations they use. Very interesting cards. So let's have a look at the poker chips. They do pretty well. These are China clays. They actually weigh in the nine to 10 gram range, which is exactly what you want for a casino chip. Actually, let's weigh them right here. Normally I collect all this dead data, but this isn't the great poker chip adventure. So we're just gonna show these data live here. We're in grams and we're looking for consistency. So if the fives weigh more or less than the other chips, you'll be able to see that clearly here. I'm just gonna do three of them. So we're looking a little over nine grams on these so far. All right, let's pull in the ones. See, very similar, a little over nine grams, 9.3. I'm gonna to have to roll in a picture, but I did stack these 20 tall and there was a difference in height. So quality control as far as thickness goes, here's one that's a little underweight. Let's make sure that that's still zeroed. Yep, that one's a little underweight. Let's do a couple more of the 25s. 9.4, that's a pretty normal weight. So quality control is very comparable to Milan. It was like all China clays. It's not news to anybody. Let's get this out of here. As far as thickness goes, you would expect to see a difference. Let's get the digital calipers out here. You would expect to see a little difference in the thickness here. As I recall, the ones were the thinnest Maybe it was the fives. Let's do the fives first. Get equal stacks here of each denomination I have. Again, I ordered a hundred of these for this review. A lot of people requesting these chips. China clays are a good set in a lot of regards as far as what you're getting for the money. So the fives are 16.57 millimeters right there. The ones, 16.45, so these are a little bit thinner. You will notice that in larger stacks. So again, compare, I know I say this a lot, like the Milanos. In the Great Poker Chip Adventure, remember I concluded that, on oh, these are the thickest of all, 16.85. So you will see a difference in large stacks of these chips, not near Paulson quality. And as I was saying, in the Great Poker Chip Adventure, I discuss how Milanos are the number one recommended chip because you're getting so much for your money. Here, let's roll in a close up here so you can see some of the details. And these are, the one of the reasons why these were not even on that list is these are sold from one vendor. The Milanos you can get from Amazon, eBay, anywhere it seems like you can order those. Almost every poker chip dealer sells Milanos. These are a little bit more rare. So for the masses, this may be harder to come by so the, that's why the Milano's won out, if you guys are wondering. Now, if you guys look closely here, you'll be able to see the little, the little cartouche, the little hieroglyphic right here changes when you flip it over. So there's actually a different symbol right here. And you'll also notice progressive edge marks. So this one has the diamond pattern around the outside. This one has the dual color tri-mark edge spots right here interesting progressions here. That's one of the things that this that I like about these chips more than the Milano's. I like the graphics, 
and I like the progressive edge spots. Look at this, just a beautiful chip. You'll notice some discoloration. You'll see that through this whole set. There are, <laughs> it's just not constant, the color. Little imperfections from the, fa from the factory. Give you a good close up here. Notice the same mark right here. And as I flip this over, it'll go back to this mark right here. Look at these graphics on the inlay. It's a sticker, I'm gonna call it an inlay for consistency. But these stickers aren't too bad. The graphics are better than they look online in person. You can see they have that kind of texture. Again, very similar to the Milano. If you're choosing between these and the Milanos, I can tell you right now that it's just aesthetics. It's just the way they look. I mean, they're just as tough. And let me try to break one right here. See if these will break just in my fingers. Nope, not that one. Nope, that one's pretty solid. All right. So a very reasonable set and if you listen to it it sounds exactly like you would expect a china clay to sound it's not exactly rocket science give you a quick look here i mean one of the reasons why you're probably watching this video is so you can see some of the details the edge marks beautiful i like it how they're not clean cut you know me i like chips with character and personality they have that very clay or at least compression molded look to them just remember they are plastic and at 9.4 grams, you're not going to find metal inserts in these chips. They're just solid, whatever plastic material they use. Very interesting world we live in where we have such a selection of chips. And I like chips like this. We need, in my opinion, more options for China clays for the masses. I mean, not everybody wants Milanos or Pharaohs. So I can understand why there's such an interest in these chips. You don't want something super mainstream, something a little bit more obscure. And I know that these were based off of the discontinued Paulson Pharaohs. And I haven't actually played with those, but those were Paulson quality. And something you will notice is that these have kind of the beveled edges, again, very China clay-ish, that the Paulsons, and the Paulsons have the very square edges. So obviously different levels of quality and quality control when you're talking about a set that you can get for about $120 plus shipping, whatever that may add up to, between 120 and 150, I would say for a set of 300, compared to a set of Paulson's, which is gonna run you hundreds of dollars, but they're discontinued, so they're even harder to find, which means they'll be more expensive. So really great value for the money with these Pharaohs. And I know a lot of people outside United States, Canada, aren't thrilled about seeing that dollar sign and, they, and again, it comes back to mainstream. They don't have, you know, pound signs or euro. So that's just kind of what you're left with. More of an American soil kind of a chip. Hope that helps somebody with your purchase decision. If you go back to the Great Poker Chip Adventure, you could add this to, you know, the top of the list with the Milanos. Just remember, they're not going to be as readily available. So if these are discontinued by Apache Poker Chips and you need to add to your set, not sure you're going to be able to find some matching chips. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe. We will be back with more fun and exciting gaming equipment and other interesting videos. Thanks for watching.